Let's take a look at how to set up the Jigsaw Day Trader standalone application. Now, once you've signed up, you can log on to the Jigsaw members site. You should have had an email telling you how to do that. And the first thing you can see, you've got your active products there. That's the things you've signed up for. And you've got your licenses over here. The license keys here are the ones for the plugin product. The licenses here are the ones for the standalone day trader product. Now to download day trader, you just click here and just download the software there. Now while that's downloading, we'll have a quick look over here. What you can do when you first download the product, you can actually get some trial data to just get up and running on. As CQG and Rhythmic, they're both demo feeds for two weeks. And the demo feeds, it's live data. There won't be all instruments on there. There are some treasuries missing. And you'll be able to demo trade with that. Um, obviously you won't live trade. And then IQ feed is just data only. The other thing we can do is go to the Trader Statistics dashboard, which is difficult for me to say. And we can set up our profile there. What we can do, we can set up a display name, we can set up a time zone, and we can also change our avatar. What we do, make sure you check to join the leaderboard here and show positions. Okay, so to do the install, I can just click here to start the installer off. So to run the application, we just click the shortcut here, and it's also on the Windows Start menu. First thing you'll have to do is license the application. There you go, cut that, and click Activate. Okay, don't need that anymore. We can see the rest of the menus opened up for us. We'll have a look at the options first. Um, this option here, Auto Save Workspace on Exit, will save all of your workspaces when you exit the application. There'll be no prompt, otherwise it will prompt for it. We can set a skin. Um, a skin's just uh, let you set up the product in whatever kind of colors you like. We'll use Seven Classic there. Uh, one thing you will do is put in your username and password here for the member site, and that will enable the day trader application to actually send your information to the statistics application. Okay, so that's all set up. First thing you need to do is set up your connections. So my demo credentials from CQG are here. So you click new, select the connection type. I'm going to connect to CQG. I'll give the connection a name. Put my username and password. And this is a demo account, so I'll put demo, click OK, and then I can connect to it. Now we can see here it says last symbol load. That's the last time I downloaded symbols. Now when you first run the product, you can see it's downloading some symbols. What it's actually doing at that point it's downloading the master definition, so which instruments does the CME trade, which instruments does the C CBOE futures trade, that kind of thing. To actually download the instruments, the actual tradable instruments, you come into this uh, symbol download and you can just select the markets that you want to trade, uh, whether you want to trade futures or exchange traded spreads, and then click download. This date here is the last expiry date, so that's going to take all contracts that expire before the 31st of January 2018. So we click download. So download's completed. So from left to right, we have connection manager, then we have orders and positions. Obviously this is a new demo account I'm connected to, so but I can see my orders positions accounts there. Strategy manager, let's me uh, set up a simple strategy. So I'll create a new one, four by four. Uh, maybe all the quantity, a four stop tick, and a four stop target. And I'll make that a, uh, I'll put a volume on there. So I'll make it a, a 200 volume stop. So that's how you set up a strategy. 
We have alerts. This shows us the alerts that the tools generate. Again, look in the manual for that. Session manager. This defines all the different sessions that we can have. There's a lot of sessions already defined, but if you want to define custom sessions, custom sessions for the market open end time, you can do that there. That will impact the way that we build the volume profile. The next one is depth and sales. Now, obviously, we can see it's defaulted to my connection. It asked me for a symbol. If I didn't download the symbols in the connection manager, I wouldn't see anything here. So I'll try ESU7. And there you go. That's my dome uh, built. And I can see I've got the volume profile. Volume profile, it's Saturday right now doing this. This is from yesterday. Now, quick word about the different uh, settings on here. First of all, a lot of people ask this, how can I move the columns or how can I resize the columns? Simply, if you go to the top row, you can resize columns. Similarly, you can move columns around. Okay, I like to have the volume profile a little bit wider. You can turn columns on and off in here. Okay. The trade window here, probably a few other options that people generally miss. You've got the quantity buttons here. If you right click them, you can set a new quantity. The other thing, if you have a position on, which I don't hear because it's a new account, if you have a position on, say if you had a, a position of 10 contracts on, if you click there, this quantity button would change to 10. So it's this quantity that actually gets used. The A is for always on top. T is change orientation. And you can select a new account there. 12 foot strength meters, just click here. And if you want to set the different meters on, you just go there and then you can resize it. Trading options are quite interesting. Close outstanding orders when position is closed is one that I really like to use because what that will do is if you go flat, if your position goes to zero, it will take all the other orders you've got for that instrument and it will close them out. So that's really good. Let's say you take a, a long on crude and you're 50 ticks up and you've got a stop maybe 60 ticks below you, a stop order you've forgotten about. You're not going to see that on here. Uh, you might forget about it. You might get into the market next time the market goes down there. Uh, I'm sure you've had experience of that. This will prevent that from happening. The other one we like to use on the power meters is reset on new position. So when you get into a new position, it'll actually reset the meters. And here, clear current trades on new position. That will clear the center area as well when you get into a new position. And recenter on new position means it'll do this, a recentering on new position. So open the auction vista, simply open there, undock it here, and then to turn the delta window on and off, you just click the D for delta. Next window is the reconstructed tape, same deal. Now with all of the windows, if you want to change instrument, you can go to the instrument and press space and search for another instrument. Or you can click the search bar there. And finally, we have the summary tape, same deal. Now, one of the things we have with this, we have some templates. So you can see here, we've got this kind of solarized feel. If I go to the settings window, you can see down here templates. This appears on most of the tools. And what you can do is you can search for a different template, Jigsaw Original and that will take us back to the original colors. Go back to solarized. And then what you can actually do, you can actually say, well, uh, I don't use that, those two columns. And I'm gonna save as Pete. And you can see it's actually saved them in this folder. So what that means is if you've got the software installed on two PCs, you can actually move the software from one PC to another and share your templates with people. The tools, this one here clears expired symbols. Basically, if a, if a symbol has expired, we actually delete it so you no longer see it in the search window. Subscription monitor is a little bit advanced. It tells you how many tools you've got open and what data feeds they're connected to. So if you have any problem with connecting to data, you run out of uh, instruments connected to, some uh, feeds have subscription limits. You can actually check that there. You can kill a subscription. So it'll kill that feed. 
Finally, we have resend trade statistics, and what that will do, it will take your trade statistics and it will send them to the leaderboard system. So if you've been using Jigsaw for a while, day trader for a while, didn't set up your credentials to connect to the trade statistics system, this will send all your history there. So on to workspace management, we can create a new workspace. And we can set workspaces to visible or invisible. And we can also set workspaces to the active workspace. So you see, this one is bold. That means it's the active workspace. And that means if I open any window, it will belong to that workspace. So let me just open a quick window on there. And let me change active workspace. And note that they're both visible. So I've got two workspaces open here. They are both visible on the screen. So there's no reason that you can't have two workspaces even on the same screen open at the same time. If you want to hide them, you can hide that one. You can hide that one. Bring them back. So that's the basics of getting started using Jigsaw Day Trader. And if you have any questions, please contact us either on the support email or by opening a ticket on the member system. Thank you.